your receiver uh, left double fisted last night. He, <laughs> That's he right. Have, he did not have an empty hand. No, he didn't last night. I what what is that. it like throwing a Justin Jefferson? Yeah, you know, we traded for uh, traded Digsy to Buffalo. Right. You're, you're kind of like, well, what's the plan here? Because we're we've got Adam Thielen, but we're we're losing one of our better players. What's the plan? They said, well, we're going to get a first round pick, and the plan will be to draft the receiver. I said that's that's great if we get a great receiver, but I've also been around a lot of, yeah. you know, seen a lot of players get drafted who don't really pan out the way it was planned. And right. So we were very fortunate that we we picked the fifth receiver in that draft and ended up with Justin Jefferson. Wow. So it worked out so well. Obviously it worked out well for Buffalo too. I don't think they're disappointed, but um, to get Justin where we did. We could have never predicted that he'd be what he's been. I mean, to set the rookie record for yards and then year two to top that mm -hmm. and then year three to do what he's done. Um, at some point, we're going to plateau. We can't just keep going up. But, uh, you know, he's, he's a phenomenal player. And then Kevin, I can't say enough about the job that he did to week after week as defenses were working hard to take Justin away yes. to keep finding ways to get Justin the ball and scheme it up so he is open and I can work him. Kevin did a great job there. Yeah, and so what? What? Where do we go from here? Because yeah. you, you 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 win the division. Yeah. You don't finish well at all. No. I mean, regular season, and obviously we saw what happened in the playoffs. Right. What? What? To what do you attribute that? Yeah. Or, so walking off the field, that's the exact question that I asked myself: Is where do we go from here? Because you win 13 games, we're 11 and 0 in one score games in the regular season. Yeah. Um, we win a division title, host a home playoff game. There's a lot of positives there. Um, but when you lose a home playoff game, you know, there's a lot of frustration and disappointment. And so um, certainly, you know, the goal is to, as we get back in April, you know, is to just build this thing again from the ground up. You start 0-0. You'd love to think that 13 wins somehow gives you a head start in the 23, but it doesn't. Right. We all start even in April, and we got to build this thing up again and, uh, and plan to get back to that home playoff game setting if we can. And then from there, we got to get the job done and keep going. What do you think Rodgers is going to decide when he emerges from the darkness? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, I do think that when you have a great contract like he has, it's tough to walk away. Yeah. It's, it's a great, I mean, he signed a great contract, so uh, I would think it'd be, you know, he'd be motivated to come back as to whether he's in Green Bay or not. I don't know, but I still think he's one of the elite best players in our game, and whoever he plays for, he's, he's going to make a real difference for him. And, you know, I would think Green Bay, but I don't. I don't know. That's what it sounds like. I, I, I would think that too, or maybe Vegas. I don't know. But four days in darkness. <laughs> you, I mean, you never you know. know. I mean, he he did the ayahuasca and he then won two MVPs. So <laughs> he, he seems to have a have a plan. He does. He does. <laughs>